everybody welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here today different kind of unboxing we are going to unbox my thrive box i've been trying to eat better make better choices i'm not technically calling it a diet i have been doing weight watchers i was not having a lot of luck i have recently gone through menopause i think that is having a lot to do with it I was following the plan exactly, walking about two and a half miles a day, and over the course of five weeks, I lost four pounds. And that's just, it's not enough for me. I know it's a pound a week average, but most of that I lost in the first week, week and a half. So then I had almost four weeks of just up and down, and up that same pound I messed around with. And I thought, you know what? This isn't working for me. I can't do keto won't do keto. <laughs> I can't give up carbs. My body does not like it when I try and run carb free. So what I'm doing is basically like paleo, except I'm not adding, on paleo you can have some honey and some maple. I'm doing no sugars. So basically what I'm doing is I'm eating healthy. I'm making good choices. I'm not weighing and measuring. I'm not eating any sugars or sugar derivatives like honey, maple, that kind of thing. I am, I am using fake sugar sweetener <laughs> sweetener might be what you call it like i am still drinking my diet cokes and i know you guys don't have to come for me in the comments i'm an old lady i know how bad that is for me i also know that i have to live and be happy <laughs> in diet coke it makes me happy i do caffeine free <laughs> if that matters at all but I, I have to have my fake sugar. And I am doing potatoes, which are allowed in paleo. I am trying to do mostly sweet potatoes, but I am doing some white potatoes. I am not doing any dairy, and I am not doing any white processed flours. I shouldn't just say white. I'm not doing any wheats, no grains. Kind of like Danielle Walker, I'm doing against all grain, except for she does allow also honey and maple, that kind of thing, and I'm not doing any of that. In the two weeks that I have started doing that with no breaks in between from the Weight Watchers moving right into this, in the first two weeks, I have lost 10 and a half pounds. So I think my body likes this better than Weight Watchers. Really, the only difference is as long as you stay within points, Weight Watchers really follows a calories in, calories out method. Your calories can be sugar if you want them to be. You're not going to get many in a day, and that's absolutely not what I was doing. But I was allowing myself like a little cereal treat or something like that in the evening, and it was always such a small amount. But it was a full portion of cereal. That's gone. And in taking out the bad-for-you carbs and the sugar, I mean, I'm just losing weight. I'm eating probably more calories than I was eating before because you don't have to weigh and measure your meats. You don't have to just have just a tiniest bit of olive oil when you're cooking dinner. Probably the same amount of calories and I have lost in two weeks twice what I lost in five weeks on Weight Watchers, which like I said, a lot of that was the first week. So a lot of that was even just water weight. Okay, enough about that. Not really what I came here to do, except for to say, because I am eating healthy, it is mostly Whole30, except for on Whole30, you cannot do fake, I'm just going to call them fake sweeteners. You cannot do fake sweeteners and is there anything else? I think that's it. Is that the only thing I'm not doing right? Yeah, I think that might be the only thing I'm doing that is not Whole30. I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know that I would choose to live a life like this. At the very least, at some point when I've taken off enough weight that I feel better about it, I'll probably add some honey or some maple in, rarely, moderately, just for a treat. But for right now, not really missing it. Needed some supplies. And that is where Thrive Market comes in because you can go into Thrive Market, tell it what diet you're on, and it will just show you, like if you're doing keto, Whole30, if you're gluten-free, dairy free all of the things you tell it what you need and then those are the products that they will show you so you don't have to look at all of the things that you don't want to buy if you are new to thrive market it's a grocery marketplace and you can sign up and you can pay monthly or you can pay out over a year i did that because it's only 60 dollars a year and then if you don't save what you've spent on your annual membership they reimburse you plus everything that i bought through Thrive Market here today was cheaper than I could have purchased it in any market around me here. And it's easier access to items that aren't always easy to find out there in the market. Although they do carry meats and they carry a lot of regular stuff too. Just if you have a special diet, they make it 
so much easier. I am showing this because I am an affiliate with them. I will put a link below. When you sign up, you will get 30% off your first purchase plus a free gift. So it's worth going over and checking out. Let me show you what I chose and kind of tell you why I chose it. I have the box sitting there now, but I think what we'll do is we'll get it unwrapped and I'll set it out and show you guys. You see, I've taken my chairs out of the way. Please don't mind the clutter. This is my box packed with all my goodies. So let's check them out. Okay, this is my Thrive order. I felt like it was a little order, but let me tell you how I got to where I got. Bone broths. I got two beef and one chicken. Chicken bone broth is easier to make. I make my own chicken bone broth because you can take leftover chicken breasts or any, if you do a rotisserie chicken, anything you do, it's so easy to make a chicken broth. It's equally easy to make a beef broth if you go to the store, let them know you need the bones. A lot of stores will give them to you for free or at very low cost. Here's the thing for me. Sorry about the immaturity. Beef bones freak me out. <laughs> they're, they're just a little too human for my taste. I can't bring myself to make my own beef broth, so I buy my own beef broth. I love this for my lunches, especially here through the winter, but I'm sure that I will carry it into the summer because beef broth is so good for you. And I just like to take a little bit, take a little bit of chicken that I have left over, or I keep generally a turkey ground turkey scrambled in the fridge just with real generic salt pepper garlic that kind of thing spices i'll saute up some veg put a cup of beef broth in it eat it as a soup it's just with the collagen and everything else beef broth bone broth not just beef bone broth is so good for you these are for my vegetable soups this is the base that i like for a vegetable soup they call them strained tomatoes you can see they're a little wetter than crushed, but not quite as wet as sauce. And this is the amount that it takes when I fill my Instant Pot. Peeking back here, I have ketchup. When you are doing a Whole30 or Paleo, anything like that, ketchups have an extraordinary amount of sugar in it. So you have to have special ketchup. Primal Kitchen is my favorite ketchup. I usually get it in the jug and it's that's all I can find in my grocery store. And I think this is going to be so much easier to use than trying to shake it out of their bottle like old school style. This will be so much easier. Really thrilled to find that. One of the things we might cook in a minute is you don't get sweets, but you can take an apple and chop it up, put a little bit of ghee in it, which I have more ghee too. Put a little ghee in it because you can't have dairy, but ghee, once they make it, it takes, I think, the fat solids out, which is what makes it okay. So you can use ghee for your butter. It tastes a little different than butter, but it gets the job done. I got this because it's the Thrive Organic and it has Himalayan sea salt in it, so that's a great way to get it, but back to this. I got this because I like to take an apple, chop it up, put a little ghee in it. I have been using just straight cinnamon and I thought apple pie spice would be great in it because other than just cinnamon, it also has, what does it have in it? Ginger, allspice, cardamom, and nutmeg. So that with an apple with a little bit of ghee, just a touch of salt. Very nice dessert. This is just the Dr. Bonner's Citrus Soap. I turned my husband on to it a few years ago and he loves it whenever I place one of these orders. He likes me to pick a couple up. Back here we have tapioca flour. It is gluten-free and it is compliant with Whole30 and with my paleo thing that I'm doing. Sometimes you just need a thickener. You want to make something, you want to make it a little thicker. You can't use cornstarch because you can't have corn. You can't use flour it's all the can't so one of the things you can use is tapioca flour you can also use coconut flour but that's not really much of a thickener that's more for like if you wanted to coat chicken i thought we would try these i was so excited to see that these were paleo and keto compliant it's thai coconut sauce maybe we'll make this in a little bit too all we do is cut some a pound of chicken strips tablespoon of oil in a large pan you add this delicious. I figured I would serve it. They've got it over, it looks like Zoodles. I need to order a new Zoodle machine. They've got it over Zoodles. I was thinking just coconut rice would be delicious. Maybe we'll try that in a little bit. Oh, my coffee. Oh, my coffee. I enjoy my coffee. I am not really a creamer creamer guy. I have always like just a, just a splash, just a splash of something creamy in it. And this is almond and coconut creamer toasted marshmallow. Let's see what it smells like. I have high hopes for this being delicious in my coffee. I will tell you that these are never as strong as you think they're going to be, but it does give you just a hint of flavor. Toasted marshmallow. Yeah. 
can't wait to try that in coffee. It smells delicious. Something about it smells like being at the movies. I cannot explain that, but it does smell delicious. I have to put that in the fridge now. They're good. They're shelf stable for a long time, but once you open it, you have to put it in the fridge. They are unsweetened and dairy free. Look, they're friendly for everybody. Plant-based, dairy-free, non-GMO, soy-free, carrageenan-free, keto, and paleo-friendly. Yeah, it's good till November. Once you open it, I think I read one, somewhere, once you open it, you have a month. I think I read that. I think that's true. Also, something else you don't get because you can't have any sweets is there's no cereal. So in the evenings, sometimes, you want a little something. This is grain-free, no added sugar, gluten-free, non-GMO, and this is the ingredients list. Almonds, coconut, sunflower seeds, dates, pecans, pumpkin seeds, coconut oil, flax seeds, chia seeds, strawberries, bananas, and vanilla extract. All of that you can have on paleo. I think you can have it all on keto too. It has nine carbs. I'm going to guess that that's in the fruit, but it has four fibers. So I think if you're keto, that makes it five. I'm not doing keto, so that doesn't really apply to me. It is 170 calories for a third a cup. So it's going to be a very small treat. But you know, sometimes, sometimes a girl just needs a treat. And I thought this would be it. You know what? We'll try this in a couple minutes. Something else we can try is, this is our favorite snacks around here now, because my husband is doing this with me, the chomps. And I can buy the regular chomps at my Trader Joe's. Honestly, I have not found a better price than at the Trader Joe's for the chomps. But they don't have, they have the regular and the jalapeno. They don't have a lot of the flavors. This is taco season. Very intrigued. Went in with Faith and bought a whole box. And my husband wanted to try these salt and pepper venison sticks. They are like zero sugar. This is nine grams of protein. This is 10, 90 calories, 100. They're whole 30, gluten free all of the good stuff. Like I said, you don't have to be on a diet to make Thrive work. They have plenty of regular food, plenty of better for you choices like the Annie's, you know, kids type things like that also. Lots of choices. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna try a couple of these. Maybe I can get my hubs to come eat one of his venison sticks. All right, I have a hubby out here willing to have a treat for me. This is what the venison one looks like. This is his. I think it said it was 90 calories and nine grams of protein. This is what the taco one looks like when you get it out. It's very pretty. Of course, that's not at all what it looks like. This is what they look like from the rear. He's got one over there for him, so go ahead. Tell us about the venison one. It is salt and pepper venison. That didn't sound like it had enough flavor for me. I am okay with venison. You know, my dad's from West Virginia, deer hunting, yada yada. But what do you think? Now that you have, we both went all in and we have cases, I think the cases are of 10. What do you think? Uh, it's good. I mean, it. I don't really get venison. No. I mean, but, but they may not want it to taste like venison. Can I smell yours? Yeah. Pardon my close-up. It just smells like a, a beef stick. It, it tastes like a beef stick, but it tastes it good. Tastes, it smells milder than a beef stick. Mine is taco. Like I said, we both went all in with these 10 packs. Will you, will you eat them? Do you oh, like yeah. them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Mine is the taco seasoned chomps. I think these work out to about $2.20 a piece. When I get them at Trader Joe's, they're like $1.99, but all Trader Joe's has is the original and the jalapeno. He likes the original. I love the jalapeno. beef stick. It is very good. Very mild taco taste. Would you like to try it? Sure. Very mild taco taste. But it's in the back. Mm, I like that. I'm not sad about having a case of those. Yeah, I get I get whatever the seasoning is that it's they make very light. taco. It's like it's there. I can, mm -hmm. Yeah. I probably prefer the jalapenos to this. And then this and the regular one are pretty much the same. This has got a little bit of taco flavoring for it. I like it though. I like that it's different. When this is the snack that you get and the treat that you get and you're eating a couple, three, four of them a week, it's nice to have options. Okay, let's get into some cooking. Oh no, we want to try the cereal. Hold on a sec. This is not cereal, just so we're clear. Do they even call it cereal? Seven Sundays Rise and Shine Mix. And it's mostly just nuts, coconut. I think there might be strawberry flakes in it. Let's see what it tastes like. I got it hoping that my favorite evening treat when I'm dieting is cereal and I can't have that. And I was hoping that this would replace it. Having seen the calories at a third of a cup and 170 calories, I won't be eating much of it. There's no, there's no oats in here. 
it looks kind of like it has oats. Glasses time. I think that's coconut maybe. Let me show it to you guys. I guess I could quit just looking in the bag and show you guys. See how it kind of looks like a cluster of oats? And there's no oats in it. It's grain free. Mm. That is delightful. Oh yeah. That is good. That is a very nice treat for somebody who loves cereal and has been doing without it. I've never seen this in my grocery store, but if you see this in yours, or better yet, if you'd like to go over and check out Thrive. Mm, this is delicious. Okay, now let's get into some cooking. First thing we're gonna do is, I wanna try this apple pie spice, so I'm gonna cut up a bunch of apples and get them cooking with just a little bit of ghee. I have such a sweet tooth. It was so hard for me to give up sugar. The first few days were rocky and I started looking for things that I could do. And I was eating berries and bananas have so much sugar in them. So I'm trying not to eat too many bananas. And I basically just settled on apples. I figured it was easy. I could cut up a lot of apples. I just use a, a little, it's a tiny little bowl. Actually, if you watch my videos, it's the all true bowl, the smallest one of those. I fill it maybe halfway up. Some people who do fruits and do things like that will take the top of, like if you take coconut milk and you get it cold, you get that cream in the top, they will take that out and whip it up and use it like it's whipped cream. I haven't felt the need to do that yet. It may happen when we move into strawberry season and I want a little whipped cream or something, that could happen. But for now, with apples, I'm good. But I just cut them all up. I peel them because I don't love a cooked apple with the peel on it. And then I'm going to chop them up in a second, saute them up. They're so good. My mouth is watering right now because I wish I had them. But I would say probably these five apples are three servings for me. It, probably close to two apples a serving, which I know sounds like a lot of sugar. But trust me when I tell you, when you've cut out all the other sugar, that amount is just fine. You can see I've got my instant pot going there. I'm going to show you in a second. My husband is not cutting out all grains. So in the instant pot, I have rice for him. Over in the microwave, I'm doing cauliflower rice for myself. In the beginning, back in the day when cauliflower rice first became popular, I did not care for it. I just showed you the size that I cut the apples. I did not care for it too much, but I discovered it's because for me, I wasn't cooking it long enough. I really like it to be good and done. I mean, I don't want it to be to the point where you can squish it, but I also don't want it to still be really chewy. I like it very done. And now that I do that, I have found that for me, I would just as soon have cauliflower rice as regular rice. It really doesn't matter to me. And I figure it's so much healthier. There's so many fewer calories. It's a good choice. So I have that going over in the microwave, which is part of the reason I'm doing this voiceover. I don't know how people who do all of the vlogs do it so easily because between my fridge running and the Instant Pot going and the microwave going, <laughs> there are so many sounds. So we're doing voiceovers. So I've gotten all of the apples. Are you guys like that? Did you see me just cut that little part out of the apple? I don't like it when I'm cutting it. If it gets a little bit of the core in it, I have to cut it out. I do not enjoy that hard part around the core. It's probably about the tablespoon of ghee that I put in there. I add a little salt because there's no better way to bring out sweetness than to add a little salt to something sweet. And yes, that was sweet and low. I am proud to say I have given up the sweet and low in my apples. I still have a Coke periodically, a Diet Coke periodically, but I have given it up in my apples. This is our new apple pie spice that I got from Thrive. It is so good. I like it so much more than just the cinnamon. Don't get me wrong. The cinnamon apples were good too, but that, oh, that was delicious. I was just showing you the Kevin's Thai coconut sauce. This is delicious. I would absolutely, I'm so glad I have another one. I will probably, once I use that one, get another one just to keep one in the cupboard because it is so convenient. All you've got to do is what I'm doing here, cut your chicken. Isn't it interesting? Are you guys finding, I think it mostly started during, you know, are we allowed to say COVID on YouTube anymore? Mm. I think it started then 
it seemed like they were putting less energy into cleaning up chicken. So I feel like I have to clean it up more than I used to have to. I, it could just be me. They said that you could just cut the chicken in strips. I decided that I wanted it to be a little bit smaller than that. And having had it now, I think if I were doing it again, I would actually make them bite-sized pieces. I think we would enjoy it more like that. It tastes the same regardless. It was delicious. But I think that we would enjoy it more if they were bite-sized pieces. All you do now is you take this over to your pan that you've put about a tablespoon of oil in, salt and pepper the chicken. Oop, showing you the apples. Salt and pepper the chicken. Get a nice little brown on the bottom. I'm flipping them a little prematurely here. I do let them go a little longer, flip them around a lot. But you just flip them over. I don't know if you'll see me do it. I do salt them a little more. I felt like I went a little easy on the salt. And you just get them to done. It's such a cheat. But yeah, these are a little bigger than bite size, so we still had to cut them to eat them. And since you're eating it on top of rice and you don't necessarily want to be working with a knife, if I were doing it again, I would do it in completely bite-sized pieces. The apples are cooking up easy peasy. The ghee melts and then it kind of envelops around the outer edges. I don't I'm doing them kind of low because I don't want them to get browned, but I do want them to get tender. Okay, when you look in this curry sauce, because it's, I keep calling it curry, it's Thai coconut sauce. Because the coconut will harden up, it's not the most attractive thing. But as it gets warm, as you stir it, as with most coconut milks, it melts and it gets all juicy and tender and you can see it's coating the chicken really nicely. The smell, oh my goodness, the smell that was wafting through my house was so delicious. So you just leave it to simmer. I think it was like just five minutes is what it said. And I played us up a little piece to try. All right, we're not right ready to fully eat because I'm gonna do some sweet potatoes for a little bit of side with this and for tomorrow morning. But this is the chicken and curry, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That is very good. It is very sweet. Very sweet. We're going to love it, but I'm going to, we also like very spicy, so I'm going to, I'm going to hit it with some cayenne, hoping that the heat kind of takes care of that sweet. I will absolutely, I'm glad I have two of these, I will absolutely buy this again, it is delicious. Yeah, we need some heat in there. And the apples that have been here cooking, yep, did you see how tender that was? Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so much better than just cinnamon. The just cinnamon is delicious. Don't get me wrong, but that is done. And I like that a lot. But I need to order several more jars because I did not have any luck finding it around me. Okay, slightly different video today. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. I wanted to show you guys what my full plate ended up being. I have cauliflower rice on the bottom, and then I have the Thai coconut sauce chicken on top of that. It was absolutely delicious. I did add cayenne. My husband and I really like hot foods, so we wanted some cayenne in it. It balanced down the sweetness of it. It was delicious. I just do sweet potatoes with some salt, some pepper, sometimes chili powder. I do them in the air fryer. They take 10 or 15 minutes. Sweet potatoes go so fast in the air fryer. Love it. And then on this day, I just steamed some green beans. Just some green beans with a little bit of ghee. Keep it basic. That meal was so filling. It was delicious. We had the apples with the apple pie spice for dessert. That was delicious. Love everything I got from Thrive. I'll put a link down below if you want to go over and check it out. Thanks for coming by, guys.